Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are just going to discuss this lead code problem today, which is minimize maximum pair sum in an array and it is a medium level problem. So I don't think that it is actually a medium level problem. The only reason being that uh, this problem is fairly simple. If you look at it, it says that uh, they have defined what is pair sum and they have defined what is the maximum pair sum. Now they have given you an array of length even, right? And you have to form n by 2 pairs from it such that each number isn't, isn't exactly one pair and the maximum pair sum is minimized, right? So a very obvious strategy to minimize the maximum sum pair would be to make a pair of the biggest number with the smallest number. So if you like keep on repeating the strategy, then eventually you will get your best answer. So that was it, I believe for this particular problem and that was like actually not nothing much for discussion. I just wanted to make this video. So you see, let's discuss the second sample test case. If you sort the array, it is going to be 2, 4, 4, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5 and 6, right? So if you want to minimize the maximum sum pair, so what will be the number you want to pair up 6 with? I would always want to pair up, pair it up with 2 only, not any other number, because if I choose any other number, the sum would obviously be greater than this particular value. So I choose the smallest value, currently smallest value, and I choose the currently largest value available, right? And I just try to pair them. So this is exactly what I have done here. I just sorted the array. I have taken the size of the array as n, and I'm just uh, initializing my answer with zero, and I'm just running a for loop. So I run it till n. It is not actually required. You can also run till n by two. It is essentially the same. If you run till n, then what will happen? This pair will get counted twice. Once the pointer will be here, and this number will be considered. And the other time the pointer will be here and this number will be considered right so you can also write it as n by 2 no issues and then you have to set your answer as maximum of answer comma nums of i plus nums of n minus i minus 1 so a minus i minus 1 is basically the counterpart of each node so for this particular node or this particular value the counterpart will be this one right right then you can just return your answer let me just submit this again i have changed this value to n by 2 and this should still work so you see, I have uh, still passed all the test cases and there is not much difference with the runtime as well. It's almost similar. So even if you go to learn, it doesn't make any difference. So that was it for this video. This was a very simple greedy problem for minimizing the maximum sum. You can just pair the minimum value with the maximum value, right? So that's it for today. I hope that you guys were able to understand this solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for the day and until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.